There's something that I want to tell you that after I heard these prophets, I will tell you something. I had a cry. One of my cries was this. Why uh, the prophets of now and the prophets of old are different? Because if you can look at Elijah, he's a man who speaks something and it happened. Why now we have prophets who are prophesying things and it's not happening? I found the answer. The answer is, the moment we prophesy what people love, God will never send us again. We are still going to see who are they, whatever, whatever. But a real prophet will be humbled a lot. So that when God send him to speak, he will speak only when God says speak. Do you know what is happening in our churches now? You people, you come to church for prophecy. And it was not supposed to be like that. It was not supposed to be like that. If we come to church because we need fellowship with Jesus, are you hearing me? When we spread, we spread for the kingdom. And when we go here, people see kingdom of God. It can work very well. But what is happening now is, I mean, a prophet will come, stand up. What he will say, you say, your name is Kule. Yes. And you people here, you will be shouting, it's no prophecy. That is no prophecy. It's to show that God sent a prophet to this person. So one of our problems today is when the prophet is showing that he has been sent to this person, you people, you take it as a prophecy. So even if I'm not sending, I can still see your names. So now, talking the name of this one does not mean that it's prophecy. I don't know if you're hearing me. So this is the mistake that is happening now. Where we take prophecy, we make it entertainment. And whereas God is not saying anything. Because even the Bible says, if a prophet prophesy and it does not come to pass, don't fear that prophet. I didn't send him. So now, what the prophet was coming here was to say, your name is Kule. Yes. So that is no prophecy. It's just part of the vision of my obedience. I must speak prophecy. If I say, Kule, go say, don't go to Harry Smith tonight. You'll get accident on the road. Are you hearing me? Amen. And if Kule went home, no accident, God didn't send me. If Kule goes home and get accident, it was God who was speaking. So now our problem is, Kule, don't go home. Eh? Are you Kule? Yes. Are you Mtetwa? Amen. Eh? Amen. Don't go home. You'll get accident. Kule say, ah. I'm going. And when Kule is going home, he's playing his music. No accident. When Kule is sitting, when he's eating, he says, ah, that prophet said I'll get accident. Do you think a prophet will be respected again? It means, though I spoke his name, but because I didn't speak what came to pass, it's not God who sent me. It's not all things that a prophet see must prophesy. He must be led. You see that? So now. So, this is something that I was learning when I have prophets. That I believe that's the reason why Satan is fighting me. 
You know why Satan is fighting me? He's fighting me because I will say, I, I don't think you're a prophet. If now I will say, come, and I say, what is your name? Kuli. Where do you come from? Erismith. Erismith? Yes. Okay, go to church. And then now I come. I say, hey, sorry, sorry, can I speak with you? You come from where? Erismith. Uh, your name is Kule. Yes. So you told me. <laughs> you told me. Even what I will say, I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. Let's be fair. Let's fear God. Thank you.